Ugh. Hey, Batman, you stink so bad, I can smell you from here. <laughs> pew. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs> the Joker's nuts. I don't know that we really knew what we wanted the Joker to be, other than we didn't want it to be a Jack Nicholson impersonation. Justice is served hot, Batman. You're gonna melt just like a grilled cheese sandwich. When he came in, he was like, yeah, sure, let's see what that could be like. So Tim came with a natural theatrical sort of presence to his delivery, which was something we definitely wanted. We didn't want the Joker to be a bumbling, goofy idiot. <laughs> he had to have some class to him. And then the dark side was completely second nature to Tim and almost to the point of, you know, like, I don't want to be alone with this guy because he's really creepy. <laughs> he was Joker like terrifying and lock up the children and don't let them watch. Oh, that's a joke, right? Batman finally told a joke. <laughs> Tim was just like a little bit like a horror movie. Just for that. Batman. We kind of knew we were in the zone, but I don't think we fully, you know, knew the balance of what that character should be. Service with a smile. But Tim Curry was wonderful. Tim Curry was crazy scary. And Mark was crazy funny and scary. Mark did make it his own. It's like, but that first show, you know, and first couple, he's kind of like doing his take on on what Tim had done. Mark found the humor and the absurdity in the character. And that that brought a whole different color to it. I'm certainly a better dresser. I thought, Luke Skywalker? I don't get this. And then I watched what Mark did. And I realized there's a madman inside Mark Hamill. Him holding back his madness. So he would deliver it very intellectually, but it was on the verge of wanting to destroy who was ever in his path. But that was from the audition. But as he grew older, he grew into who he really is. And he's a character actor. He is insane to be in a booth with. He is so talented. He nailed it from the audition. And we were just like, you know, that's, that's the Joker. You know, they, they replace actors for all kinds of reasons. Batman, you wouldn't let me fry, would you? You never know why someone's being replaced. I work with wonderful actors. And I've never understood why they were replaced. Uh, Tim was one of those situations. I thought he was fantastic. I love him as an actor. It definitely had the menace that we wanted. I can't say that we were completely satisfied with it, but that it had less to do with whether we thought Tim was delivering or we didn't really fully understand what we wanted yet. <laughs>